So, Tartarus time tonight once again, although I just want to quickly check to see where everyone's at, because the next full moon boss is level 48, so most of us are pretty much at the right level for it. So, I don't really need to do... Oh, okay, I guess it's way over. Well, not way over, just a little bit over. So, I don't really need to do that much grinding. Mitsuru's fine. Akihiko's over. Ken is... Ken's a little behind. Not that far behind. Koromaru's over. And Fuka is... Doesn't really matter. So, yeah. Ken is the only one level 47. Interesting. So, let's head in. I actually didn't realize most of us were uh, so much above 48, because yeah, that is what the next Tartarus boss is, not Tartarus boss, we've already beaten all the current Tartarus bosses, that's what the next full moon boss's level's at, so, yeah. So, seems like Ken is the only one, I'm gonna just take Ken along for a bit, I might even just only use him for a short while. All I need to do when it comes to Tartarus at the moment is I just need to get a katana. Yeah. I'll be talking about that later. For now though, I'm going to be handling one of Elizabeth's fusion requests just because this Tartarus episode would be very boring otherwise. Now, I probably should be doing this more like when I max out death, but... Yeah, you know what, might as well register Thor. That is the right Thor, right? Pretty sure that's the right Thor, but it should be okay now. So let me check what I've got for requests. There, this thing. Otenta Mitsuyo. Yeah. So uh, we'll be talking about that later, but I'm going to go ahead and accept that now. I currently have the Sengoku Era Helm accepted, and we're going to be taking care of Alice with Megado. In fact, once we actually do that, we will pretty much. We, in fact, once we're done with this, and once we're done with the Sengoku Yura Helm, we're actually done on quests that we can complete at this point in the game. Because we can't actually do the hand one just yet. So, in order to create Alice, we're going to need several things. We need... The recipe for Alice is... I believe it's Pixie, Narcissus, Lilum, and Natataishi. Now, Natataishi requires another one of Elizabeth's fusion requests, but... Yeah, we've done that by this point. So, we're going to be going and getting... We already have Narcissus, so yeah, good thing I kept Narcissus. And the one that's registered does have the heart item, which is good. So yes, I need my Pixie. Remember, from all the way back in the beginning of the game, grinding Pixie to level 4 was actually a massive pain. Oh, how times have changed. Now, the question is, do I even have Lilum? I may actually not have Lilum. And as much as it seems like uh, I'm going to need to, I'm not actually going to buy back Natataishi, because I need a Natataishi that has Meg... Yeah, we don't have Lilum. Okay then, this suddenly got a lot more complicated. Well, not exactly really complicated, but yeah, early in the game I didn't like having Devil Personas, because you never need them for a social link. And Lilum is the lowest level Devil Persona. Let me just check for uh, a second. So we've got... let's see... There's no way I'm making Lilum out of all these level 50s, so I think I'm actually going to have to dismiss Pixie, which is totally fine. In fact, I don't have enough... okay, so I have Narcissus, I have... Yeah, I'm actually going to need to free up one slot. Okay, freeing up one slot. Who needs to go? Wait a minute, didn't I...? Oh no, I actually did get rid of uh, get rid of that other strength persona. So, who do I not need here? Uh, sadly, that would actually be Surd. Okay, so technically speaking, I don't need Surd or Thor, but I actually think the one that I really don't need here is Throne, because it's not quite as strong as those two, and uh, I don't need it for a social link at this point, so I'm going to have to dismiss Throne. I'm just going to have to plan this one out. So, Throne... I'm so sorry, Throne. But you are now vacant. And I actually need two extra slots in order to fuse Nataishi, but at this point... I should now have two empty slots. Now, I will use this time to go and bring up Eagle's Index and look up how best to fuse Lilum, because yeah, I don't actually have that at this point. And so, 
Let's check. Because, yeah, a long time ago I could have got Lilim. Lilim is one of the earliest personas you can get that has four elements, but I prefer Quad Elemental Yomoto Shikome because... That one has no weaknesses. Lilim is weak to light. So, let's see. It's level 8 devil, so it's actually a little higher than I would have thought. And this is currently going a little... I should probably just go back into the Velvet Room while I'm doing this. So... Okay. Nekomana and Aramitama. That's totally doable. There's also Jack Frost and Aramitama. There's quite a few things I can use to make Lilim. Fornius and Angel... I wish Eagle's Index had a way to calculate what the cheapest option was. So, let me just quickly check. Nekomata is about 5,000, and Aramitama is in Chariot, which is uh, uh, about 5,000. So that's about 10,000. And then Fornius and Angel. Angel is 3,000, and Fornius is... 6,000. Okay, so this is slightly cheaper, so I'm going to go with this option. Actually, that Fornius is pretty decent, so this might actually be my best in the long run. So Fornius and Angel. And fusing these two will get me Lilum, and then I'm going to have to fuse another two. Let me just check. I might have to dismiss something else now I think about it. I'm going to have to go back and get rid of Pixie, because I also need another two slots for... Oh! Um... Oh, I thought that was four elements for a second there. No, I'm missing Bufu. You don't have Bufu. It's possible to get Fornius with Bufu, where if you do, then you can get Lilim with all four elements. That's, I think, the easiest way to do it, actually, now that I think about it, but... Uh... Okay, Auto Sukukasha is actually kind of decent. Let me just see if I can get that. Okay, there we go. Auto Sukukasha. That was practically painless. And yes, this is going to be massive overkill. Rank 10 Devil Social Link on a lowest level persona. Oh. That's not that big a deal. But you're probably going to be Legion. What the? Um. Okay then. I have heard that that fusion accidents could give you a random higher level persona, but I did not think it was possible to get, um... Uh... This persona is, um... Let me just... Level 54 out of... Out of a level 8 fusion. I mean, this is actually really great. I'm going to register this for the compendium right now, but, I mean... Ah, uh, who cares? Weary Thrust is uh, technically even better. I don't think I've actually ever fused Hecaton before. And yeah, I would like to call it Hecaton because of Vanille. But uh, anyway. Because its actual name is extremely hard to pronounce. But... Yeah, that was unexpected. But that was actually probably a good fusion accident because... Actually, fusing this thing normally would be... Did it even learn any of those? I'll have to actually check. Actually, fusing this thing normally would cost me a lot of really good personas. It's actually the um, pretty decent uh, Hangman persona. Born from Uranus and Gaia. Yeah, its name means 100 handed. I kind of figured that with the Hecker part. So, yeah, like a lot of Hangman Personas, massive endurance, and... Oh, it did inherit Oisukukaja, that's actually pretty nice. Oh, Rakandra, yeah, not that great of a last skill, but... We... I don't think we've actually seen Weary Thrust just yet. Weary Thrust... Is a strong... I think that's... I think it's Pierce, it's probably Pierce. I could check, but I don't really care at this point. Sounds kind of mean, but I'm not really going to be using this Hecaton anytime soon. It does more damage when you're tired. That's the main thing. It does uh, 1.5 times damage if you're tired. You know what? While I'm in the skills menu, I might as well actually check what it exactly is. Okay, yeah. That is Slash. Oh. St wait, what? I think that's a misprint. 
that that's a skill that's a typo in the skill description because that that icon is very clearly slash not strike so i think that's actually a, and that's really cheap in terms of cost too it's pretty nice so yeah uh, evidently this is supposed to be slash but the skill description is a typo so that's interesting never actually knew that that fusion accident resulted in a lot of weird things that i never actually knew but sadly, uh, this is going to be a bit painful. I'm going to dismiss a 100,000 uh, yen persona. And go back in and actually get the right Lilum Fusion this time. I actually didn't know Fusion accidents could work that way. I mean, I knew that one... Because from getting Oberon much, much earlier in the playthrough, one of the results of a Fusion accident is a random persona of higher level than what you're going for. But I didn't realize that it was, like, higher level relative to your level rather than the level of the personas that you actually fuse. Anyway, gonna just buy back the personas quickly. I'll see you back when I actually fuse Lilum. And if you're an accident again, that'd be ridiculous because the chance of an accident is 1 in 64. There's Lilum, who I've actually seen used uh, in a lot of, against a lot of early game Nocturne bosses in some boss runs that I've watched out of curiosity. And yes, massive overkill of rank 10 social link on a low level persona. Well, I mean, not really that massive overkill, because the amount of experience that the social link gives you is totally relative to the level of the persona. I mean, seeing as I don't really care about you, and I really don't want to inherit regular Moodle on Alice, because that actually makes no sense when you know what Alice eventually learns. Well, that's totally ironic. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty amusing, actually. <laughs> oh, hey, Moodle turned into its light counterpart on a devil persona. That... <laughs> yes, clearly Igor is having a lot of fun today. Anyway... I'm going to go ahead and register you. And now... So, we need Nata Taishi with Negado. Weirdly enough, the easiest way to do this is to fuse Dekarabia and Oberon. And please tell me that you don't... I got rid of Negado, didn't I? Uh, I'm pretty sure that I did get rid of Negado on you. Okay, so, I need to make another Dekarabia. I'm now annoyed that I closed off Igor's Index, because I'm going to need Igor's Index again. Just bear with me for a second. Okay, you know what I think? I think what happened was... I think Negado's skill changed to absorb wind. That's what I think happened. It It's like, I've done so many parts that remembering back to exactly what skill changed, but I'm pretty sure that's the one that changed. It's going to learn... Evade Ice, which is actually the main reason why I fused it. Later on, though, it'll learn Resist Ice. Huh. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. Ooh, that's actually really nice. <laughs> Lol, the, um, the first result that comes up in Eagle's Index is something that, um, wow, the, uh, the th even the third result is kind of a massive spoiler. Let's just say a lot of these involve ultimate personas that I don't actually have yet. Uh, hmm. let's see if there's... A lot of these are three-way fusions, actually. And that one involves Beelzebub, not doing that one. I was about to say there's one that involves Orpheus and Slime, and then I realized I don't have Slime. This is not Persona 4, where Slime is actually really, really useful to get early on. I had a feeling that I actually did have a way to make one here. Uh, that involves losing Titania, though. Oh yeah, Megado is there, so that must have been what skill changed. So, yeah, I'm going to have to buy back quite a few Personas after this, but at least it's going to free up my list a little bit. I'm actually going to have to buy back Narcissus, because I need Narcissus for the Alice Fusion. But yes, here is a Decarabia that actually does have Megado. I really should have... Uh, I guess I forgot the exact combination that led to Nathataishi with Megado. And that's pretty much fine. Yeah, this should be okay. So I need that, and then I need Oberon. Yeah, I've really freed up my, my list. And while I'm here, I might as well buy back Narcissus, which I also need for Alice. 
these later, uh, no way am I registering that Dekarabia, because as much as this one does have Negado, uh, I only need it for this one fusion, and I would much rather keep the Absorb Win one, because that was so lucky to get that. So, you, and then I need... Oberon. And then while I'm here, I also need Narcissus. And I might as well get Pixie if I have room for it. Okay, so hopefully we don't have any more unexpected setbacks. I'm just going to keep Eagle's Index up just in case. So, Oberon, Decarabia, this gets us a much lower level Persona. So this is one of those weird things where you actually want to be fusing a Persona that's lower level than... Uh, than the one that its components are. Because, yeah, make sure that it inherits Megado, by the way, or this entire thing is pointless. I was going to make sure that I don't copy over Megado. And if this is an accident, I'm going to get very, very annoyed. Okay, thank you for not being an accident. I'm not going to fuse... Um, I'm not going to... Well, I just did fuse it. I'm not going to register this Nathataishi, because I've already got a better one with the Compendium. It just looks so low by this point in the game, but... Nahataishi was amazing earlier on. So there's Counter Strike. There's Herculean Strike, which is overflowing the skill window and is better than Swift Strike, so I'll get rid of that. And then. Are you, gonna, you are not going to get into a dark. Okay, so there's Nahataishi. So with that, if I go out and then go back in again, Igor should be saying that's an interesting combination. There we go. Just wanted to get that line. So, with the crossbred, we can now do... Level 56, we're exactly the right level for this. Lilum, Pixie, Nataraishi, Narcissus. And this is going to get us Alice. And I, I'm pretty sure she's going to learn that skill. So, see that next skill there, level 59? Die for me, exclamation mark. That is what you really, really, really want here. Also, Repelling Dark is actually pretty nice. But, what are we getting? We're getting Marin Karen, Palimpa, which is pretty much the only worthwhile thing inheriting from PC. Provoke, Mazio, Regenerate 1. I can probably do better. Uh, evade Ice is not bad. Herculean Strike is kind of silly, but... Uh, hmm. Do I have anything better than that? I have Sexy Dance. I... Oh! Of course, I was almost a complete moron, and made and didn't get... So what I actually want here is, Alice needs to inherit Megado, which is going to take ages for some reason. This is why random skill inheritance sucks, by the way. There's Megado! You would think that for something where the whole point of the quest is to get Megado onto it, then Megado wouldn't be this rare as an inheritance, but it apparently is. And as for the rest of the moves, at least I'm not passing down Survive Dark onto something that repels Dark. That's kind of stupid. But, this is actually not bad. Really, you don't need any skills at all on Alice except for Die For Me, which you'll be seeing in a bit. Hopefully, if this goes right. I'm pretty sure that special, like, fusion recipes cannot be accidents, but I'm not 100% on that. So, finally, here we go. Let's Alice! And Alice is one of the personas that actually has unique dialogue here. It's not very long, but it is pretty much totally unique. I love that dress twirl and finger wave. You'll see why once I actually get to using her. Yes, yes please, I do not want that at all. Ah, that's actually kind of funny because she could have inherited that anyway. Oh, please, please, please get die for me, please. You just got die for me, I'm pretty sure. Yes, you did. Okay, that is the only thing that you really ever need on Alice. Maraka Unda is not bad, but uh, the thing about Alice is that uh, decreasing all foes' defense is generally not going to be useful because they tend to be dead anyway. So, what do I get rid of? Spirit Drain is also pretty useful. I don't think I need Evil Touch. Although, now that I think about it, 
Alice is required to fuse a persona that actually gets ghastly whale but no fear moves, so I probably should keep at least one fear move just in case. I don't really need my zero. And I have actually forgotten the rest of Alice's skills. I know that there's some pretty decent ones in there somewhere. But anyway, so we have Alice now. Yeah, okay, so this one's actually kind of strange. You might think, what use does Repel Dark have on something that already repels Dark? But that's mainly for inheriting it onto other Personas. So, we have a level 60 Alice here. That he has Megado, which is good, because that's exactly what we need for that request. And I need to buy back a bunch of Personas from the Compendium as well, but let's go here and turn that request in. So yeah, this one took quite a while. And we barely get any... Uh, line. So, with this, we get an item that lets us create Lilith. This is kind of important, and another one of those really jerkish moves to people who don't do the side quests, because Lilith is a devil persona. You need all the devil personas to fuse Beelzebub. So, if you don't do this request and don't get Lilith, you can't get Beelzebub. So, that's kind of frustrating. But definitely going to register Alice, because an Alice with Die For Me is infinitely better than an Alice without Die For Me. And now... Let me just see what the next fusion request is. Oh, okay, so yeah, she lets us make Lilith, and immediately she tells us to go and make Lilith with my Boofodine. This one is actually kind of tricky. This is another one of those fusions where you need to actually... My Boofodine is not naturally learned by any of the Persona... I'm actually pretty sure. I'm, let me just... I'm, I'm... Okay. I think Lilith is actually a special 4-way or 5-way fusion. I just want to check this, because something tells me that, that this one requires a lot of hoop jumping as well. Uh, I... Okay, uh, yeah, this is Lilith. Lilith Vitala Incubus Succubus. I'm pretty sure this is Lilith. So, I don't think any of those components naturally learn Mabufudine. I believe you need Gabriel to get Mabufudine onto one of them, and then fuse that to get Lilith. Don't 100% quote me on that, but I think that's how you do that one. Lilith is, however, I'm pretty sure beyond our level at this point, so we're not going to be bothering with that, and uh, so is Gabriel, actually. So, yeah, this is kind of where that stops, but I just want to briefly show off Alice's compendium info, because Alice is kind of strange. If you're not familiar with the overall series that Persona is spun off from, Alice's lore is actually quite bizarre, and you probably won't really understand it. From what I can tell, she was a character who appeared in a very early Shin Megami Tensei game, and they basically made her a recurring summon throughout the series. So, their appearance is mostly based on the Alice from Alice in Wonderland, but their actual character is pretty much something that's totally invented by Atlas. But, they're pretty much a recurring... They're in pretty much every game that it has summons. So, speaking of summons, I need to get Titania back, and I also think I need to get that fortune one back as well. In fact, I don't really need to, I can just get the cheap fortune. Because all I need is a fortune persona. But I do, I... Okay, let me actually just check if I, uh... Uh, if I need lovers or not. Something tells me that I do. And I actually scroll way past lovers. Okay, I'm not going crazy. Definitely need both Lovers and Fortune. Because we're going to be doing a lot of spend time with Yukari, and we're also going to be raising Fortune up to the point where we actually do need a matching persona. So, yeah, quite a bit to do here. Oh yeah, so something that I should mention. Uh, yeah. So, let's just, for um, the purposes of this, show this. If you end up inheriting this. Okay, so yeah, this is taking way, way too long. I just want to just mention that Die For Me can be inherited. It just seems like it's extremely rare for that to happen. I was actually fusing both Alice and Die Soldier there. I think theoretically it is possible to get both Samsara and Die For Me on the same persona, but the odds are extremely low. 
out of maybe over 20 times that I saw that persona, I think I got Samsara once and Die For Me never. So, yeah, very, very, very low odds. So, I'm actually probably gonna save here quickly because that was actually a pretty good Alice. So, now is the time for pain. Although I will want to demonstrate Alice because, uh, yeah, this is pretty awesome. Also, Alice has pretty amazing magic. So, I will just need to bring up... There are, like the Mikazuki Munechika, my arch nemesis, like that one, there are a few specific flaws where this next katana will show up. I wish I'd known this for the earlier katanas, that would have saved me a lot of trouble. I mean, not that there wasn't already any trouble with the Mikazuki Munichika. Okay, so the floors that this can appear on are 142, 150, and 156. So, let's see which of those we have easy access to. Alright, so yeah, our closest warp point is actually before 142, so we have to just check 150 and 156. So, now begins the long, arduous process of doing this, but before I do anything else, I'm going to, like I said, show off Alice, because Alice is amazing, and you're about to see why. Also, I don't really need Mjolnir anymore. I mean, it's a great weapon, but I much prefer things that I can get more consistent preemptive strikes with. Like one-handed swords. In my first playthrough, I actually used fist weapons quite a lot, but for some reason I'm not liking the really short range on them this time. I also barely ever used spears in my first playthrough, but uh, this time I've actually had a lot of good use from them, actually. So, first enemy is going to be our unlucky victim. Okay, there's one. Yeah, it's afraid of us. Uh, should I go for that? I'm going to want to look for a big group of enemies. That looks like a big group of enemies. Aha, yes, you can run, but you cannot hide. For you will face your doom at the hands of... Okay, that's... Watch out. Yeah, that's there good. are four enemies. You will face doom at the hands of Alice. So, die for me is the dark counterpart to Samsara. Off with your heads! No, I'd only hit one of them. Anyway, so that's an 80% chance of instant death on anything that is not immune to instant death, so yeah, pretty unlucky that it's three of them here, but... I still wonder whether Ken says you're on a roll when he himself is the one who gets the one more sometimes. Okay, let's see if I'm lucky here with this here. So, like Samsara, this is very expensive, but Alice automatically has Spirit Drain, which can really help with that. It's all around a really, really awesome skill, most of the time, when it comes. I'm actually getting pretty unlucky with it here. But, anyway, this thing should die to a rush from Ken. Or out of all that attack. That was decidedly less spectacular than I thought it would be, but it's still pretty useful. I mean, not many instant death spells can reliably kill things that aren't weak to them. So yeah, that's Die For Me. It's a pretty awesome skill. It seems the enemy's weak against light. So there are some times where you really don't want to use Die For Me. This is one of those times. I could try that just to be silly, but that would be a waste of a homunculus. However, most enemies that are immune to one type of instant death tend to be weak to the other, so once again, the Twilight Realm calls you. Really? Okay, there we go. I wanted to show at least one complete enemy wipe to die for me. But now I can just safely skip ahead to whenever I find the chest, which is probably going to be in a few hours. So, yeah. Okay. 
Oh wait, this is a more enemies floor, and even though the stairs are right there, this is a perfect opportunity to get a level 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. There are five enemies. Okay, I have to know. Enemy defeated. Well, three out of five is actually pretty good. Um, Gary Stewie even got a level up out of that. Oh, okay, somebody else leveled up. And a Kali. Okay, then. Right, that gets us Revolution, a skill that we actually haven't had for quite a while. It's actually good to have that, because I I had a big chain of passing that down that lasted for a while, but I kind of stopped, and uh, glad that I got something with it now. Yes, yes, yes. My skill level has increased. Okay, there we go, that's all I need. I can go to the next floor now. Which would be the first floor that has, uh... Yeah, the potential of one, spawning a rare chest, and two, the rare chest actually being what I want. I, mean, I don't know if I've mentioned this before in the playthrough, but it's not quite as ridiculous as Final Fantasy XII Zodiac Spear, where if you don't get it through not opening one of a few very specific chests, the only way to get it is via a chest that has a 10% chance of spawning, a 10% chance of containing an item and not just money, and a 10% chance of that item being the Zodiac Spear. <laughs> so, overall a 1 in a 1000 chance. And looks like there is no rare chest on this floor, so I'm gonna have to... That, I believe, is new though. It's not quite as good as the Mother Saber. But it might be okay for Mitsuru, maybe? Anyway, I'm gonna have to check floor 156 now. Okay, 156. Let's see what's here. And you're probably a Minotaur or a Cyclops. Okay, is that a rope? That's not a rare chest. I can safely ignore it. Well, this floor is at least reasonably big. Okay, am I gonna get this? I'm gonna get rid of you anyway, just to make sure that you don't get in the way. Am I gonna get this on my first visit? That would be ridiculously lucky if I do. Can I be payback for the... You know what, I'm trying to thaw you. Payback for the Mikazuki Munecheke incident. Okay, drum roll, please. This rare chest is. Yatta! Otenta Mitsuyo Gatta! And now we can. Is there an exit point here? There is. Okay, perfect. So that was pretty much painless, but I will say that was definitely, you know, like karmic payback for how painful the Mikazuki Mini Chicken was. That took like eight loops through Tartarus. This only took one, but yeah, after getting eight loops, yeah, kind of makes sense. This next one will balance out a little bit. And Ken is at the level that I kind of want him to be. Because I do totally plan on bringing Ken to the next boss fight, and there's a very specific reason why I'm going to do that. Firstly, though, I'm going to go and turn in this katana, which was a lot easier to find than the other one, but, uh, yeah. Yes, I have, and in record time compared to the previous katana. Famous Sword that repels darkness, uh, unfortunately doesn't actually give you the repel darkness passive skill, that'd be pretty insane if it did. I think I've vaguely heard of the Maeda family. Definitely, uh, heard of that guy, though. And the endless loop of sickness happened! Oh yeah, they could have done that. It's kind of an interesting story. Elizabeth, have you been talking to uh, Mr. Ono lately? Speaking of which, uh, I'm currently in the process of... ...getting an item for you from him, and it's taking a really long time. So, good news about that is that is the last Katana request for a long time. 
a very long time. So, I think you can all join with me in rejoicing that we don't have to deal with katana requests ever again, at least for a little while. So, the next katana request, which is actually 91, which is the last katana request, is, like I said, not going to be accessible for quite some time, and by quite some time, I mean we need to unlock a special optional bonus dungeon to have access to it, so... That's not going to be for a while, but yes, that's in fact the last katana request for regular Tartarus. It's kind of strange that they'd actually do that for that one, but not do the same thing for the hands, because they're really trying to pretend that this is the last part of Tartarus, but that hand request blatantly gives away that it's not. So, with that, I should probably... Where's Junpei? Oh, I guess Junpei wasn't there that night. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I guess he's visiting Chidori. Anyway, I'll give him that thing later. The main reason why I want to give it to him is because I can get rid of the Mikazuki Minichika! Finally. Let's have a look at what this new one is. It's only actually a little bit stronger than that one. Plus 40 HP still. Oh, actually, no, it's considerably stronger. I, I <laughs> didn't realize I had a... I have two extra copies of the Mikazuki Munichika, and that's not counting the one that I sold to the police station. That really says something. So anyway, I'll probably discuss the next boss a bit later, because now it's a little early for that. We're pretty much done with Tartarus, though, for the time being. Like, unless I want to see if I can fuse anything that's level 57. In fact, I think I actually might be able to, but... Other than that, we're pretty much done with Tartarus for a while. Kind of a shame that it has to be so... long until the full moon, but, uh... It's generally how I like to do things in Tartarus. I like to get as much done in one visit as possible. So, let me just see that if I have a... Okay, we do have a level 57 one. We have Byako, but that's going to require me to get rid of Surt and Barong, uh, both of which, are, well, I mean, I technically don't need Surt, but Surt's awesome, so I'm going to keep him. And Byako is fairly decent. Uh, it's kind of weird getting fire boost on something that's weak to fire, but... Hmm. One thing that I should actually mention, though, about Abaddon here, it's not going to be for a long time, but Abaddon has a very useful hard item. In fact, I was actually kind of silly in going out of my way to get Narcissus with its hard item, because Abaddon's hard item is infinitely superior. But until I get that, it might be okay to go for Narcissus as one, but Abaddon's is basically a better version of that one. So... For now, though, I'm going to go ahead and save, and yeah, we're pretty much done here, but I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of Alice, and finding that katana in much faster time than I thought I would, so I'll see you back here next time for, well, tomorrow's going to be a date with Yuko, which I think is going to be our first... Something tells me that we've gone out with her earlier on in the playthrough, but anyway, it's going to be a Sunday date regardless.